Hello and welcome. Today we're doing every boss in Lernia from easiest to hardest. I will have a ranking system in the bottom left showing how hard I found that boss with mage, melee, and summons. The X by summons means you cannot use summons for this fight, and the ranking system I have with summons will all depend on what summon you were using. For me, I was ranking it off of Lutel the Headless, who was unupgraded but is still a very good summon. Now before going out and killing all the bosses, if you're a mage, I highly recommend running over to the Church of Vows, giving Muriel the Royal House Scroll, and purchasing both the Karian Slicer and Magic Lint Blade spells. These spells will make a lot of the boss fights in Lernia a lot easier. One final thing I want to say is thank you for all the kind comments and great tips on my previous Elden Ring videos. And I'm sorry this one took so long to come out. Anyway, let's begin. The first boss is located in the Everjail, northwest from the Lernia Lakeshore Grace. You will need to do a little horse parkour in order to reach the boss. Once in the fight, you can just spam Magic Limp Blade or use Jumping Heavy Attacks to easily beat this boss. The second boss is located at the Cliff Bottom Catacombs, north of the Lake Facing Cliff's Grace, and there's a place to jump down from the Cliff's Grace where I waypointed. The cave system can be a little confusing, which is why I'm showing my path. Also, I just want to mention, for most of the bosses, I do show my path to that boss, so if you don't want to see it, just skip slightly ahead. For the boss, his jump and ground slam move is very punishable, so if you keep a little distance between you and him, he will end up doing this move quite often. The third boss is located further north from the cliff bottom catacombs or lake facing cliffs grace. The only thing to really be careful of is the position of this boss's minions and his explosion attack that he does if you're close to him. The fourth boss is located in Stillwater Cave, and it is easiest to go southeast from the Lernia Lakeshore Grace to get here. Now if you have Magic Limp Blade, this boss will be a piece of cake for Mage, and for melee users, an easy way to beat this boss is to wait for him to do a lunging stab attack and then multiple stabs afterwards. Once he does this move, you should be able to roll out of the way and get a free backstab into a charged heavy. The fifth boss is located in the Lakeside Crystal Cave, northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. I'm sorry, I have no tips for this boss, but after defeating the boss, there is a room behind him which leads to a lady and her dead wolf. She has a very short quest line, and you can unlock her as a spirit summon after doing a bit of her quest. The sixth boss is located at the village of Albanurix, which is underneath the mountain, west from the Lakeshead Crystal Cave, or northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. I hide in the bush and spam the map button to make sure I've lost all the aggro from the enemies on the bridge, then I kill all the dogs to make sure they won't interrupt the fight. For melee, when the boss slams the ground three times, you're easily able to walk behind him and get a free backstab and a charged heavy. Now for mages, the boss is a little hefty and has a hard time dodging magic, but at least he will try, so he gets an A plus for effort. The 
The seventh boss is located at the Erd Tree, northwest from the village of Alvinurix and Alernia Lake Shore Graces. For this boss, the main move you're going to want to watch out for is when he slams the ground, causing an explosion that spawns in a bunch of projectiles. You want to roll away from the explosion, and roll left or right when the projectiles are coming for you. For melee, I recommend hugging his right leg because the stomp move is very easy to dodge and very punishable. The 8th boss is located at the Rhodes End Catacombs, west from the Converted Tower Grace, or northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. The dungeon is quite small, but has a couple hidden rooms that are located near the stairs. Now the boss fight is quite simple, the main guy is a decoy so just ignore him and go towards the white light in the corner of the room and attack. The ninth boss is located in the Kaku's Everjail north from the Rhodes End Catacombs or northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. Remember, in all Everjails, get as greedy as possible with your attacks while the boss is spawning in, and during the fight, the only danger you really have to worry about is being stepped on. Unless you like being stepped on, then play how you want. The tenth boss is located at the Erd Tree, east from the Mausoleum Compound, or north from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. There's not much to say since it's just another Erd Tree avatar, but just make sure to kill the small enemies before fighting the boss. The eleventh boss is located in the Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel, north from the Gate Town North or Lernia Lake Shore Grace. The cave is pretty straightforward but quite long, so I'll take this time to tell you about the Crystallion. The Crystallion's gimmick is that it will take minimal damage until you break its poise. Using a spell like a rock sling or a weapon like a hammer that does blunt or also known as strike damage will break the Crystallion's poise much easier. I did not have rock sling or an upgraded blunt damage weapon, so I spam Glintstone Pebble or Karyon Slicer with Mage and jumping heavy attacks with Melee until I eventually broke its poise. The twelfth boss is located at the Four Belfries, north from the foot of the Four Belfries, or northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. You will need an imbued sword key to access this boss fight, but you can get a key from the chest at the highest tower of the Four Belfries. For melee, I mainly just waited for the boss to do this ground stab so I could go in and get one to do hits before he started his next long combo. Once the boss is defeated, you can go to the back of his room to pick up Stormhawk Dean. The 13th boss is located at the Gate Town Bridge, north from the Cliff Bottom Catacombs or Lake Facing Cliffs Graces. For this boss, you can knock him off his horse by parrying, but I just couldn't get the parry timings correct so I ended up dying quite a lot. I found it far easier just to sit still and wait for the boss to approach me so I could hit him with my melee or Karian slicer spell, since a lot of other spells had a hard time hitting the boss. The 14th boss is located at the East Rea Lucaria Gate, west from the Mausoleum Compound, or north from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. To reach this boss, you either have to jump down from the Mausoleum Compound, or enter the Academy of Rea Lucaria and travel across the East Bridge. The 
The 15th boss is again located at the four belfries and you will need another imbued sword key to get in. Now for the boss, I didn't struggle at all against this Crucible Knight until he went to phase 2 where he started breathing fire. When he starts doing his fire attacks, I believe rolling towards him is the safer option since every time I rolled away, I would end up getting hit. The 16th boss is again located at the 4 Belfries and you will need another imbued sword key to get in. I know the Crucible Knight and these guys aren't actual bosses, but I just wanted to include them so you would know what's in each portal. For the bosses, fighting the two of them together with melee was extremely difficult, so I resorted to killing off the ranged one with magic and finishing off the melee one with my katana. They don't give you anything for killing them, so you could run past them and drop off a little ledge to pick up the pearl drake talisman. The 17th boss is located south from the academy town gate or northwest from the Lurney Lake Shore Grace. For melee, one large tip I have is to not lock onto his head since he moves it around so damn much. And also watch out for when he screams like a child because he may be coming in for a grab. The 18th boss is located at the end of Karia Manor, which is far north from the Lurnia Lake Shore Grace. I'm sorry I have no good tips for beating this boss, I just kind of fought him like I was fighting the Knight's Cavalry bosses. The 19th boss is located in the Royal Grave Everjail, east from the Royal Moongizen Grounds. The reason why an easy boss is number 19 is because you can only reach him after beating Royal Knight Loretta. The 20th boss is located at the ruined Shroon Precipice Overlook, far north from the Lurney Lake Shore Grace. Now when fighting the boss for Mage, you just need to camp behind the pillar while throwing pebble at him until you win. For Melee, I'm sorry I don't really have any tips, I mainly just stuck right beside his head for most of the fight. Now after you beat the boss, you will be able to go up to the Atlas Plateau without having to use the Lift of Dectus. The 21st boss is located in the Academy Crystal Cave, east from the bottom of the Four Belfries or northwest from the Lurnia Lakeshore Grace. Once at this point in the cave, go left and there will be an illusionary wall. I use this area to bait the larger mage out so I can safely get into the boss room. 
for melee, the best thing to do against these bosses is to parry the spear one, stab it, try to get a heavy attack if you have time, then run over to the mage, get a backstab, and again, try to heavy attack. For mage, I pretty much just shot Pebble at the spear one until he died, then I used Guardian Slicer to finish off the mage. If you have Rock Sling or a good blunt damage weapon, it will make this fight far easier. Once the fight is over, you can head to the back of the boss room and pick up a spell called Terra Magica. The 22nd boss is located at the Church of Vows, north from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. For this boss, you will have to rest until night, stand up from the Grace, and sit back down to reload the area, otherwise he may not spawn. For me, this is a pretty obvious tip, but I recommend staying very close to him so that way he won't use this long range swiping attack. For Mage, you could just lure him out the front doorway so you have a bigger space to fight him in. The 23rd boss is located near the Squillhouse Classroom in the Rea Lucaria Academy, northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. The only tip I have for this boss is to keep your distance and wait until he does his jumping attack, which is his most punishable move. This boss does have a resistance to magic damage, so mages will have a harder time beating it. The 24th boss is located in the Black Knife Catacombs, northeast from the Ruined Labyrinth, or north from the Lernia Lake Shore of Grace. This cave can be a little confusing, so you can just follow my path to the two bosses. The first boss is the Black Knife Assassin, and yes, you can bury him, but I found it far easier just to sit and wait for him to do his jumping slam attack so I could walk behind him and get a free backstab into a charged heavy. Also, if you're struggling against this boss, you can summon an NPC named D, Hunter of the Dead, but you will need to progress through his questline at least a tiny bit to do so. The second boss is extremely easy and will die in 4-5 to five hits, so you can ignore the skeletons and go straight for him. The 25th boss is located in the King's Realm Ruins, northeast from the Northern Lernia Lake Shore, or northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. I don't know what to really rate this boss, it felt like I was doing something wrong during the whole boss fight, so he's just very confusing and I had a hard time figuring out when and when not to attack. I tried fighting this boss with only spells, but he would usually teleport around and hit me before I could even get the spell out. I felt like I had to fight him with melee, and I got lucky because he wasn't going as insane as he was in the last fights. The 26th boss is located near the Debate Parlor in Rey Lucaria Academy, northwest from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. It's not that confusing to get to the boss, but I'll just show my path anyway. For the first phase of the boss, all you need to do is find the people who are glowing yellow and singing. After killing three of them, Rinala will fall down and then you can just attack her. An 
In phase 2, being very aggressive against Renala is probably the best since she has very low poise and flinches on every hit. When you see Renala start summoning, you may want to back up and see what she is summoning first. Renala can summon a dragon, a troll, a bloodhound knight, or a pack of dogs. You can lure the summons away from Renala and then go in to fight her, or you can just run away from the summons until they despawn. The 27th boss is located southwest from the Academy Crystal Cave or northwest from the Larnia Lakeshore of Grace. This boss is resistant to magic and for tips, the biggest tip I have is to run away from the boss anytime you see him fly up. When he tries to land on you, I recommend rolling in to get a punish on his feet. And when he flies far back and starts shooting flames to his left, I recommend getting on your horse and trying to intercept his landing. The 28th boss is located south from the Gate Town North Grace or north from the Lernia Lake Shore Grace. It does have to be night in order for the boss to spawn, and the only tip I can give is to not lock onto its head if you're fighting him close range. Also, I did somehow accidentally glitch kill the boss, I'm not sure how it happened. Now there are three more bosses which you can fight only after progressing through Ronnie's questline. The first boss is the Godskin Noble. He's not here right now because he's attending his funeral, but here's an image of him. This is definitely one of my favorite looking enemies in the game. The second boss is the Black Knife Assassin, located in the Ringleader's Everjail, west from the Cathedral of Manus. This Black Knife Assassin is similar to the rest, except for the fact that sometimes when it jumps up, its ground slam attack will explode into a bunch of slashes. You do have a larger area to fight him in, but he's still pretty hard since he has a lot of health and is slightly resistant to magic. The third boss is located at Ronnie's Rise, just after defeating the Royal Knight Loretta. You can only get the boss down to 50% health before it flies over to the Cathedral of Manus. And once it's here, you can just hide in the Cathedral and spam magic safely until he uses his giant frost sword that goes through literally everything. Anyway, I hope that was all the bosses, and I really hope this guide helped you. I'll be working on Caleb next, and I'm really looking forward to the Radon boss fight. Also, hopefully it doesn't take nearly as long to get that video out. One more thing before I go, I just wanted to thank you again for being so nice in my videos, even though my videos had a lot of mistakes in them. I hope you thought this one was better than the last two, and I hope you stick around to see the rest of the walkthroughs. Anyway, thank you one final time, and goodbye.